But what really excited me is I said to my friend Vitaly, let's film this whole thing. Let's film it. What is Burning Man? What is going on in different camps? Let's film as much as we can. Let's try to highlight a spiritual moments, the moments that we're here for. So Vitaly started with one artist girl, start filming the film about Burning Man, went to one camp, another camp, and he's just about finished soon. I'm coming to US next week and probably we're going to be working on finishing this film. But it was very interesting. What we discovered at Burning Man is kirtans. Besides crazy music and dance, in pretty much all day time in different camps, you hear some conscious spiritual talks and kirtans. And we're not talking right now about quality of kirtans, the, the quality of spiritual talks, because, you know, they're, they're, they're different kirtan, they're different spiritual talk. But what I was really amazed by is this alternative culture of kirtan, which is known in India for thousands and thousands of years, but been re revoked by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in Bengal and later taken all over the India, is going on at the Burning Man. And I was very impressed that people getting together, they're chanting together, they're singing together, they're praying together. And to me, that was like the best discovery. The kirtan movement is going on. It's actually not going on so much by Hare Krishnas, because there used to be a camp, uh, Hare Krishna camp at Burning Man, and they used to distribute prasad and food, which was amazing. Everybody loves it. Actually, the first Ratha Yatra uh, with the chariot going all over the Burning Man been done by Hare Krishna guys at Burning Man. But the guy who built Burning Man camp and did it for many, many years died in an accident. And after him, nobody could pull it food distribution in the desert. He was like an expert. He had many volunteers. He's a great leader, and he unfortunately passed away unexpectedly, and that, that camp is still vacant.